Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we shall discuss how to use the Navamsha for marriage, no career. <laughs> we always think that Navamsha chart is only for marriage, but there are so many other things which the Navamsha chart tells us. And 99% of the times we miss out on them. Now, when I'm saying career, I don't mean just for finance or just to get some name, fame, power, position, authority, influence, affluence. I'm not talking for that. But for anything in general, which uh, you can do in a very dedicated fashion. So, and career can be a part of that. It may not be all in all. But for your overall life in general, you can use the Navamsha very beautifully. All right. So, Vishti Larson had... Uh, in 2018 end I guess <laughs> done a series uh, in my channel which uh, you will find if you type so I will not go into the details because he has already made that series so it's like a 10 video series so if you have not watched that video series then please watch it because those days uh, I uh, had like 20 or 30,000 less subscribers. So those who are new, they may not know. So I'm just making you aware. So in that, he will tell you uh, what the houses of the Navamsha represent and how should you use them. Okay, so please type Vishti Larsen, Navamsha Exotic Astrology. You will find it. And he had also done a series on Venus. If you want that, then you will find that also. These are all done in 2018. All right, so let's talk on the career front. But uh, why do I say we can use the Navamsha for career? Uh, what about the Dashamsha chart? Well, of course, we can use the Dashamsha. Dashamsha is used for what are you literally uh, dealing with in your career. But what the Navamsha tells you is what are your inner inclinations? Okay, so let me give you an example, very quick example. By this, you will understand. Uh, why the Navamsha is very useful when it comes to career analysis. So therefore, when you are doing a career consultation for somebody, do not ignore the Navamsha. Don't think it's a chart for marriage, okay? And don't go by all these uh, misconceptions that Navamsha gets active after 28, 32, 33, 35, 37, all the fancy YouTube years. Navamsha decides the situation of your birth, okay? So, Please watch my Navamsha videos for more insights on this. Let's talk with some examples. So suppose somebody has 10th Lord in the third, in the Lagda chart. Okay, 10th Lord is in the third house. Any Lagda, whichever Lagda, doesn't matter. Now you will say, if the person comes to you for a career consultation, you will tell them, uh, okay, 10th Lord is in the third. You can go into writing, you can go into making YouTube videos. <laughs> you can go into IT. IT is the third house. You can go into marketing. You can go into consulting. You can go into uh, making things with hands like, you know, this handyman, these kind of people. Then aircrafts, mm -hmm, aviation industry. Then public speaking, these are the things which are represented by the third house. But then, which among these will the person end up doing? <laughs> you cannot just say, you will, oh, no, you, you will do one of these actually. And the person will be like, all right, but which one should I do? Yes, that's what people ask during consultations. So then how do you answer? Now you will say, okay, uh, it is, uh, you know, maybe he's a Capricorn Lagna or a Leo Lagna. So therefore, Venus is the 10th floor. Mm, so maybe he will be into YouTube. Okay. But then what will he do in YouTube? <laughs> he can do a thousand things in YouTube. Venus represents YouTube. But what, what, what is that the person will end up doing at the end of the day? How will you tell that? For that, you must check the Navamsha. It's very crucial. So, for example, if uh, this person has Venus as the 10th Lord in the 3rd, so when Venus combines with the 3rd house, it can show social media, YouTube, you know, Instagram, all these things. A person having good growth, for example, I'm saying. Or as the 3rd Lord, if Venus is in the 10th, then also this can happen in Venus Dasha. 
but now what is what is that the person will do in youtube the person can make astrology videos or you know health fitness videos or business videos or how to grow in instagram youtube and all this or politics videos anything okay so for that you have to check the navamsha because the navamsha will tell you the inclination the lagga chart won't tell you that and yes as usual if you are new to the channel then subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation my website is also down below and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him in the navamsha and in the lagna chart also so suppose a person has venus in trines in the navamsha dharma trikon 159 so in your navamsha chart if somebody has venus in 159 the person or if venus is linked with the lords of the fifth or the ninth especially or with the lagna lord also of the navamsha i'm saying not lagna chart okay then uh, it can happen that the person is very much interested in things like painting for example or it can happen the person is interested in um, fashion designing or it can happen the person is interested in social media very much i'm just giving an example so now suppose a person has venus in trines then then what will happen is naturally there is a higher probability unless venus is badly placed okay or it is obstructed or uh, it is not in a very good sign or it is in pap karta yoga unless these the, these things are hampering this venus in navamsha trines the person generally will like to do painting and generally will like to be very much aware of arts and you know art galleries and anything related to beauty uh, that which uh, seems very appealing the person is very much uh, so the person is very much attracted to beautiful things okay so now the thing is if this thing is there in the navamsha this is like something which is there inside the person this is the person is carrying this for many 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 lifetimes okay so now suppose this venus is not linked with the money houses the second sixth tenth and eleventh of the lagna chart then what happens this will just remain like a hobby or a trade if this is linked with the fifth house or the ninth house of the lagna chart then what happens this just remains like a part of his or her life the person may not want to take this to the next level to a professional level but now suppose this venus which is linked with the navamsha trines is placed in either second sixth tenth or eleventh or somehow they are they, it is conjunct or aspected by the lords of the tenth or the eleventh especially then what can happen the person can have a tendency to bring this trait into the career so then suppose if this tenth lord is in the third and the person is telling i want to go into it career which whichever planet it is and you see some of venus is maybe sitting in the second sixth tenth or eleventh and in in the lagna chart and in the navamsha it is in the uh trines then you can tell the person because i'm from it so i can give it related examples so then you can tell the person that because you are good at painting and drawing and all this so you can venture into areas like front end development you know like html javascript css so front end is basically the thing which you see in the front <laughs> so like for example when you go to any website you type and then you see okay you see it visually so that's front end and back end is how the processing is happening for those who are not aware of it so the person can go into front end okay so this is this is one example uh, for venus okay so there are so many other planets there is moon there is mercury there is sun there is moon there is you know saturn rahu so many planets are there so uh, du during our consultation you should be able to uh, tell if these things will be good because sometimes the person doesn't tell you anything ask you uh, anything sometimes the person just tells you the client tells you okay what is good for me tell me then you can tell but sometimes the client can ask you questions that should i venture into this so then very easy you just check if that trait which the person is asking is 
uh, in the Navamsha trines or is it somehow linked? Then you know the person, uh, irrespective of he takes it to the carrier, that trait doesn't have to work much because that is there from his past lives. Now, then the second step is you check if it is linked with the money houses. Okay, then you know this person can use this trait for his career and take it to the next level. If it is the second and sixth, it can be a way for passive income or secondary income. If it is the tenth or eleventh, it can be giving great name fame success. Okay, so this is how you judge. Now, suppose this is linked with the money houses of the D1, the Lagna chart. But it is not linked with the Navamsha trines, this trait. Can the person go to that area? Then then also the person can go. But the person has to invest a lot of time in training himself or learning uh, through the different traits regarding that planet and that skill. Okay, so or suppose the other thing happens, it's there in Navamsha trines, but Suppose the Dasha is not coming or that planet in the Lagna in the D1 is not linked with the money houses. Then you can tell that you can better take this as a hobby, not as a major part of your career or life purpose because that won't fetch you money necessarily. Okay? Even if you are very talented, you may be the most talented person from the Navamsa, but if it is not linked with the 10th or 11th or the Lagna or 2nd or 6th, then I have seen that trade does not uh, give you financial stability, security, or name, fame, power, position, and all this. It doesn't give you somehow. That that's how the karma is sometimes. Okay, because there are many people who are talented in various things, but uh, they don't become famous. And sometimes uh, it's the other way around. Uh, people don't have talent, but due to some reason they become very famous. Okay, so you have to decide uh, for the client which is appropriate. Will uh, will will is it good for the person to go there? Okay, or not. Now, best case is this planet is linked with the Navamsha trines and the money houses, okay, of the D1 chart. But it doesn't happen like that all the time, okay. Life is not idealistic. So, you'll always get mixed. Sometimes it will be linked with the Navamsha, it won't be linked with the D1 money houses, or sometimes it's the other way around, okay. And which one is better among the two? Well, that depends on the horoscope. If um, sun, moon, and ascendant lord are somehow linked with this planet and this trait in the Lagna chart. Then there is a higher probability that the person can get support from some other places. Or if Jupiter is linked, then the person can get a guide who gives good guidance. Okay, then things can be much better. Uh, yeah, that that's how you can use it for career. All right, but don't think of the trines. There are many houses in the Navamsa. There are twelve houses in the Navamsa also, like. 12 houses in the Lagna chart. So every house has a different meaning. So you have to know how to interpret and use the houses of the Navamsha and the placements and the planets back to the D1 chart. If you don't do that and you only use it for marriage and relationships, it's like uh, only 10, 10 to 20%. Okay, Navamsha is very important for marriage, for career, for spiritual life, for everything because it tells you who you are inside. Okay, Therefore, do not do not ignore and uh, do not just say 10th Lord is in the third, you will do these, these things. But then which one should you do? That also you should tell, right? All right. Thank you very much. And uh, if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it below. And my website is also down below for consultations. And if you are uh, wanting to watch the Navamsha videos, I will put the playlist here. All right. What is there with you all the time? Just look to him and you will find him.